Right, B block in this video, we're going to work our way up to the ceiling level, including the internal window. We will do the external um, wall um, in, a, in the next video. So from here, we're going to move up, like I said, to ceiling level. We're going to include all the ceiling detail that's required, as well as the window, the section window. So here we go. We might break that up into two videos. Let's just see how we go. Right, so at this point, that's what we have from the, the time we... Um, last two together so let's have a look at the detail we're going to go to five from the floor level to the ceiling level so let's go ahead and do that let's offset the top of the concrete surface bed by two and a half meters okay so we're going to click the top of that offset it by two five let's come back to the pdf and note that the ground level to the top of the window is going to be two three three nine okay almost two two four so two three three nine in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to lift it um, no, let's stick with 2339 for now, okay? There we go. Um, the window height was 500, so I'm going to grab this. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm just going to extend this across, right? And I'm going to offset that now. I'm going to come down 500 because that's the height of our awning window. All right. At this point, I'm going to extend my walls up just to give them a little bit of extra. Let me use my perpendicular snap, take them up because... We're going to use that um, line as a reference now, that ceiling height. Okay, and there we go. Right, so what I will do here is I'm going to trim the following. I'm going to trim these two lines. I'm going to trim that line so I can get the windowsill and a certain detail in there. And then I'm going to trim that little excess there and that little excess there. All right. Now that is going to be my ceiling, um, that's the ceiling height, okay? So I'm going to then go ahead and look at the detail that's required in the PDF for the ceiling. So we're going to have a, a wall plate sitting, uh, you'll see that that's the ceiling board over there, the lowest line, right? That's the truss above. So we want to get the wall plate in, which is going to be 114 by 38. So back to CAD, rectangle, 114, right? 114,38 equals, there we go, or enter. Then I'm going to copy this from this reference point here. I'm going to use, I'm going to start on the bottom right corner and I'm going to go pin it on that reference point there. Then I'm going to do another copy and the reference point now will be from, in fact, not copy, I'm just going to move it. I'm going to move it from that point to there. Okay, now I could have already done this. so. And it's now I have to do this twice. I've done it once, but I need to go and add the, the cross in there to indicate that it is wood. All right. Whether it's a raft, if we section it like this and we cut through a panel of wood, we're going to show it with that X. Right. Let's assume that the gypsum ceiling board is nine millimeters. So I'm going to offset it by nine millimeters. Ten is fine. If you want to go slightly bigger, you can. Okay. So there's my ceiling board. Then I'm going to get a line to act as the, the bottom of my rafter. And it's going to sit on the top of the wall plate, right? And move all the way across. Okay. And I will then go ahead and trim that internal line and that internal line over there. And after that, I'm going to extend the line, right? Up and probably in line with the line I've already got, although that's quite high. We can come and trim that in a moment. We probably only want to go about 130 around that around that high. Okay. So next thing we need to do is add the brand ring. The brand ring is 38 by 38. So let's create one brand ring. Okay. So rectangle command. Um, we're going to go 38 by 38. Enter. Create our little X in the middle or through cor opposite corners. To give us the, to show us that it is a, it's cut wood. Right, and then we need to go place these across the, so basically what this is gonna do is, these brandering pieces are gonna hold the ceiling board to the rafter. So you can imagine, we'll um, uh, drill a fastener through the ceiling board into the fastener, which is then obviously attached to the bottom of the rafter. And the rafter and the, per, the battens run um, at perpendicular to one another. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make a copy of this. We're going to start 
you can choose a reference point. So we're going to take this one and I'm going to start it there. All right. I'm going to take this one, make a copy on this point, and I'm going to start it over there. So we're starting right next to the wall plates. And now I'm going to take this line and I'm probably going to divide it into three sections uh, just to do two more brand rings. We don't, you might need to research in your pets, for example, the exact distance between the brand rings that you're going to use. But I'm going to divide that line. So I'm going to take that line, I'm going to divide it. Right. In fact, first of all, I'm going to bring it to in line with, I'll show you now, I'm going to bring it in line with the centers. Uh, there's a reason for that. So when I do divide it, it's equal. So I'm taking this line. That means that when I divide the line, they'll be placed centers to centers. Okay, so dividing that line, DIV, the divide command is a really great command. And we're going to divide it into three additional parts. Enter. And you can't see it. So I'm going to go to my utilities and my point style. And I'm probably going to make it about, uh, you'll see this will come up. We're going to make it about 50. Okay, and I'm going to make sure that we are you, sorry, our point style is also something we can see. So there it is, okay. And you'll see it comes up quite nicely. So I'm then gonna copy these. I'm gonna reference the midpoint at the top. Copy the midpoint. I'm gonna position that one there and I'm gonna position that one over there. Great. And go ahead and delete those two points. Don't need them anymore and I don't need that brand ring. Okay, last thing to do is let's get a line through that point there. You'll see I'm going to just trim, I'm going to extend these across. Um, there we are. And then I'm going to trim the excess above that line away. Uh, we're just bringing it a little bit lower down, like I said, about 130 above that wall plate. Now I'm going to use the express tool command. I'm going to go to break line. I'm going to go extensions, must be 50 and my, my size must be at least 50. And then it's as simple as going, click on the left, click on the right, click in the middle. Let's do it again, click on the left, click on the right, click in the middle. In the next video, we're gonna look at how to construct a window, um, the section window.